ahead. Joining us now, BlackRock's global CIO of fixed income, Rick Reeder. Rick, it's good to have you. We had this huge surge in rates, and, and now things have really calmed down. The market's digested some auctions relatively well. Where do we go from here? <clears throat> So I'd say a couple of things. One, it depends on your time frame. I think for the next next week or so, it's pretty hard for rates to move significantly higher. You have a quarter end dynamic. You have some rebalancing that take place. You have some real money being put to put to work in the longer end uh, longer end part of the yield curve. I mean, some of you know we've done some of this as well. Some of the investment grade market, investment grade corporate bond market, where yields are now starting to be attractive. Dollar prices have come down significantly. Back end of the yield curve has uh, has provided some some interesting opportunities. That being said, I think over you know if you look at where we're going to be two to three months hence, six months hence, rates are going higher. I just think we're going to pause here for a bit for a bit of time. Rates are going higher. Why are they going higher? Because we're expecting better growth. Or are they going higher because we're expecting inflation? Are we going higher because we expect the Fed to taper sooner than it's talking about tapering, which it's not talking about yet? What is it? <laughs> So, boy, there's a, there is a myriad of thoughts there. It's the first one I would say is the first the growth is going to be the primary driver. You're seeing economic indicators that are pretty close to where we were and some through where we were pre-pandemic. The growth is I think the growth is going to be explosive to the high side. I think you're going to see a number of dynamics so you're seeing in some of the numbers a little bit of softness in the last couple of weeks because the data we're now reading off is interesting seeing the KB home numbers off of some pretty tough weather. But if you actually strip that out, the economic data is going to be really good. So first part, I would say economic growth is going to be explosive. Second part, listen, I think the Fed should start tapering. I think there is a dynamic about how do you start that taper and using draining some of what you've been buying in the front end of the yield curve to support long end interest rates. Because I think when people see what the growth is going to be, interest rates are going to head higher. And I think it's really important to understand the plan right now. Part of why the markets are so jumpy. We don't know the plan from the Fed and how they are going to transition. And I think when we learn more about how they are going to do that, markets will be more stable. But I definitely think that you're going to press rates a bit higher. And, uh, and like I say, I think rates will stabilize when we know what the plan is and how the Fed is going to begin this tapering. By the way, I'm not I heard uh, Chair Powell and, uh, and Secretary Yellen talking today about inflation. We're not that worried about inflation moving significantly higher. I think the transitory effects that they talked about. Are quite are quite significant. Listen, we're going to have a bit more inflation than we've had the last couple of years, but I'm not that worried about inflation moving out of control. That's not going to be the instigant for rates moving higher. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.